my gosh. Fuck me silly. Good morning, lovers. Good morning. A morning just is not right if it doesn't start out with James Franco. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Mm. Well, today is another work day, so um, I'm going to go ahead and get ready for work. But before I do that, um, I really need a second job. So I'm going to go ahead and check back with this lady at this restaurant. It's such a cute little restaurant. I love the intimate feeling of it. Um, they make Mediterranean food, Thai food, Italian food. So... I'm going to go ahead and hit her up and see what's happening, see when I can come in to train. I've never been a waiter before, so I'm really excited about it. So, hey, cross your fingers. <laughs> Thank you for calling. How are you? Ray, may I help you? Hi, may I please speak to Kayla? Oh, yeah, Kayla, I'm going to leave Yes, thank you. Hi, Kayla. Um, this is Quattro. Hi, um, who? Um, Quattro from, um, I came in the other day for the waiting job. You no, I'm just somebody who filled out an application, um, for the waiting job. Busy at the moment. Um, you might want to call back, like, around 3.30 or 4 o'clock. 3.30. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye -bye. Okay, bye. So I guess I'm going to call back at 3.30 or 4 o'clock. Yay! I think I got it in the bag. I mean, she said that she wanted me, so. Okay, so I'm really big on skin. I'm really big on beauty. I'm really big on just taking care of your appearance, period. I believe God only gives you one face. He only gives you one batch of skin, darling. And whatever else he gives you, you need to make sure you take care of it. I really have a problem with razors. Like, these fuckers right here are not my friend at all, whatsoever. My skin is, like, so sensitive. Like, right when I put it on my face, like, little bumps just come up. So, I've been, like, trying to recover um, from these fuckers. So, I recently have been using this. And um, it works. You can't use it every single day. It says you have to, after 24 hours... You have to use it, so I do it one day, skip one for a day, and then do it the next. So I'm going to do it. You leave it on for like nine minutes, and it takes a little bit of the hair off. But I'm just really tired of these little bumps, darling, because not celebrity status. That's the one thing about being a guy is shaving. Well, for me, that's what I hate. It's the whole hair on the face thing. I mean, that magic shave shit really isn't magic, honey, because it's like little pricklies are still on there. Hopefully, it'll all come off next time. I just like it to be no hair whatsoever. Like, that's what makes me happy. I just really want to travel the world. I want to go to Paris. I want to go to Rome, I want to go to Italy, I want to go everywhere. I want to see this whole entire planet. I want to be able to take my family on trips and I have this one fantasy, um, like Christmas in Paris, like I just send all my family to Paris and we like I rent out this really nice suite and we have like a big Christmas tree all kinds of food and I just want to be able to see the world and be able to have my family see the world with me I want to go to London I just want to reach my dreams you know I just want to make movies I want to record albums I want to be on billboards I want to be on magazines
And I mean, it seems like my generation, all they want to do is be famous, famous, famous. And I mean, for me, being famous is just like a little bit of what I want to do. You know, I mean, being on magazines and being on TV, it's fun for sure. I can only imagine it's fun, the attention, the paparazzi, but like being able to change other people's lives. I want to be able to help people less fortunate. I want to be able to help feed kids. I want to be able to help build homes. I want to be able to help bless people. Since I was blessed, I want to be able to bless other people. I want to be able to share what God has given me when I get it. I want to be able to win Grammys. I want to win Academy Awards. I want to win the Nobel Peace Prize. I'm trying to get on my Angelina Jolie, darling. Ever since I was little, that's all I wanted. I pray every single night, every single night. And prayer is powerful. Like I used to pray like, please let me be in LA. I want to move to LA. God, please move me to LA. Jesus, I really want to move to LA. <laughs> Same old prayer every night. And then the next thing you know, he put me smack dab in Los Angeles. Like literally in LA. I remember, um, this one night before I went to bed, I was like, Jesus, send me a dream. Like, do you want me to stay in Oklahoma? Or do you want me to move to Los Angeles? Like, I don't want to do anything you don't want me to do. And um, so I went to sleep. And I had a dream that me and my mom were sitting on these hills. And there was tons of palm trees. And the sun was setting. I woke up and I said, yep, it's meant to be. I'm meant to be in the public eye. I meant to be a world known figure. Like, when you know, you know, you know. When you know in your heart what you're supposed to do in this life, it's like nothing or nobody can tell you otherwise. And I'm not gonna stop until I get there, baby. And everybody I know, from my grandma to friends in Oklahoma, it's mostly friends in Oklahoma who tell me this, or people who live in Oklahoma. You know what you need to do? You need to hit up Ellen DeGeneres. You need to hit her up. She is all about talent, this, that, and the other. And I believe Ellen DeGeneres is a very genuine person. She is so down to earth, and she has such a real spirit. Hollywood has not tainted her whatsoever. But it seems like... Ellen isn't going to want to talk to you unless you have like a million views on a YouTube video. I don't have a million views to show or shop around to anybody, you know? What am I? And I wrote, I wrote Ellen like one time, no response. I wrote her two times, no response. It's like Ellen doesn't read that. Her producers read that. Her producers send that to Ellen. So it's like not even, it's like I feel like I'm wasting my time. And don't you get me started on how many times I wrote Oprah. Here's my America's Got Talent um, sticker that I put on my shirt when I auditioned. Man, I'm just praying. Praying, praying, praying that they call me back. Callbacks are all this month and callbacks are all next month. January is almost halfway done. It's like the 13th today. I'm like, please, come on. Give a brother a chance. Something. Can I get a break? Damn. You have to do two things in this life. Follow your dreams and follow me on Twitter.